Hi, my name is John Sperry, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you how to turn an ordinary dry erase marker into an infrared LED light pen for Johnny Lee's Wiimote whiteboard. In order to build your pen, you're going to need the following components. A dry erase marker shell, an infrared LED, a simple two-prong momentary switch that doesn't lock, an N-type battery holder, an N-type battery, and some 22 to 26 gauge red and black wire. The first thing you need to do is clean out a dry erase marker of your choice. Just take a pair of needle nose pliers and yank the chisel tip out, and then take the pliers and pull the back off the pen. Once the chisel is out, the ink core will simply slide out, giving you a perfectly empty pen casing for your LED light pen. Next, you need to prepare to apply your momentary button. You need to create a hole. Now, the important thing is when making your hole, you want to make sure not to cut it too big. If it is too big, the button won't be secure and will require some sort of fastening with glue. The hole can be created in a couple of different ways. One way is to simply drill one with an electric drill, making sure the bit size corresponds to the diameter of your momentary button. Or you can do what I do. I use a rotary tool with a grinder bit and grind one out. The drill method is much simpler and leaves less room for error, but the rotary tool will allow you to customize the size of the hole to exactly fit your button. Next we need to see if the momentary button fits in our hole. There are a lot of different types of buttons you can use, and most of them come with a bezel of some sort. With my application, I don't need the bezel, so I just remove it and toss it away. With the prongs down, the button won't fit into the pen casing. It's too long. So I just bend the prongs one to each side. This will create room for when I attach the wires. Once the prongs are bent, I like to stick the button inside the pen casing, just to see if it'll fit. Once I'm satisfied with the fit, I simply remove the button so that I can attach all of the other components. Next, we need to prep our LED. The LED has two posts coming out of it. You'll notice that one post is longer than the other. This is important. What we're going to do is shorten the posts, but we need to maintain that relationship between the long and short posts. Simply take a pair of side cutters or wire cutters and trim the two posts, leaving the length relationship constant. The one that was previously longer must always be longer. As you can see, the posts are shorter, but the one is still longer. Next, what we need to do is solder a short one to one and a half inch connecting wire to the longer post. This wire will eventually be connected to the momentary button. I like to use red wire for this side of the circuit. Simply strip both ends of the connecting wire and solder one end to the long LED post.
Once the red wire is connected, you're going to repeat the process with a black wire on the short post. Cut a piece of black wire about six inches long. Strip one end of the wire and solder it to the short LED post. Now we need to secure the LED into the tip of the pen. You will notice that I have wrapped both LED posts in electrician's tape to prevent any involuntary contact between the posts. Simply feed the long black wire through the tip of the pen until it comes out the back. Slide the LED posts into the tip, but not all the way. To secure the tip, I like to run a bead of hot glue around the base of the LED. The purpose of the hot glue is to secure the LED in the tip of the pen so that it does not slide out. Once I have enough glue on the LED, I simply push the LED into the tip of the pen and give it five to eight minutes to dry. Now we need to prepare our pen for the momentary button. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and reach into the hole and pull the connecting wire so that it sticks out of the hole. Next, cut a piece of red wire about four inches long and strip one end. Feed the stripped end into the base of the pen and pull it through the hole with your pliers. You should at this point have two red wires coming out of the hole. Now attach the two wires, one to each bent prong of the momentary button, and solder. When you have finished, you will have the connecting wire soldered to one side of the button and the long piece of red wire soldered to the other side of the button. Your pen should now have an attached LED, an attached button, and two wires coming out of the back of the pen casing. These wires will be connected to your battery pack eventually. Now we're ready to fasten the momentary button to the pen. Simply press the button into the hole until it's snug. If it feels too loose, you may want to glue it in with some super glue or hot glue. At this point, you're nearly done with your LED light pen. Next, we need to make sure that our battery pack wires are not too long. Lay the battery holder end to end with the back of the pen casing. Cut the black wire so that it will have no problem reaching the negative end of the battery holder. And do likewise with the red wire. Now that your wires are the correct length, you need to strip the ends, of the ends of the wires and solder them to the battery holder, black to the negative end and red to the positive end. You've now completed construction of your LED light pen. All that's left is to insert the battery and press the button. You will need to face a camera of some sort, as human eyes cannot see infrared light. Once you see the light in the camera, press the battery pack into the back of the pen. You may want to test it again at this point. Grab the cap, press it firmly on, test again, and you have just completed construction of your infrared LED light pen.